All right, this is gonna be like episode four, episode five of Angels Unnamed Podcast. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, welcome to my guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. My name is Jesus Alvarado. I'm a CEO of uh, 24K Promotions and uh, manager of Aliado Chicago. Manager and CEO, man, making big moves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, how are you doing today? You feeling good? Good, good. How about yourself? Not too bad, man. How does it feel? Is it stressful to be a manager? Nah, bro. It's uh, it's a stressful thing because there's like constant phone calls. Yeah. It's like you don't have time for yourself. Just phone calls, phone calls. I actually have two different phones. Yeah. One for myself personally. Yeah. And then one for like business wise. Because yeah. it's like at the same time I'm doing like answering phone calls and like getting gigs for them. Yeah. At the same time I have to be calling other groups because I'm also a promoter. Yeah, exactly. You know? Gotcha. So it's a lot of things going on. It's it's pretty hard, yeah. How'd you get started with it? Like how did that all that begin? That started in, um, what was it? It's about to be, well, in March, it become it's two years. Two years. But it started off in, you know, Alfonso? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Poncho. Yeah, Poncho, Poncho, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Poncho, um, uh, Beto, you know Beto? My cousin Beto, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We started off like that. We just went to, uh, we decided to go to a party. Uh, they were charging us 40 bucks at the entrance, and it was a warehouse. Yeah. So when I get there, I'm like, oh, 40 bucks, for, 40 bucks for what? Like, yeah, for entrance. And they're like, oh, yeah, you have to pay 40 bucks um, for the entrance door or whatever. I'm like, that's fine. It doesn't matter, right? Yeah. When we get there, we're there for like, now I'm not going to lie to you. We're there like 20 minutes. Waiting at the door? No, 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 no. Oh, just at the place? Just at the place. Yeah. Like 20 minutes. And then I'm like, hey, who's next? And they're like, oh, no, after this group, it's over. I'm like, wait, wait, what? And I'm like, bro, you told me that it was going to be eight groups yeah and honestly that i've seen that like three groups played already yeah so you lied yeah and they're like oh no it's because i couldn't do it because the cops are going to get here and i'm like so you're basically sponsoring a fake a fake event a fake yeah event. Sponsor fake shit. and it was just like uh i'm like at the end of the day when we left we're like what the fuck like if he could do it why can't we and yeah. it, was a, it was a kid like it was a a guy that's a year younger than us, okay. two years younger than us. I'm like, so if he could do it, then why can't we, you know? Yeah, yeah. Cool, man. And then, so, like, how did it become, like, at that moment, was it just, like, a ha-ha joking idea? Or was it, like, let's actually do this shit? Nah, nah, nah. It's actually, like, it was, as soon as, uh, as soon as we left that day, it started... Oh, yeah. It started from that day on. Yeah. How does that start though? Like, how do you get in? How'd you get in contact with the band? Like, did you know them already, or how did that work? So basically, like, it's not actually hard. Bro. It's just you find a name, yeah. Make a logo, yeah. And then find a spot, and then you start like every. I honestly, I've I I've always said it like, in order for it to work to, for you, and like people gotta like know you, you know, yeah, yeah. like they gotta follow you, yeah. And like, thankfully, like. For me, I was always uh, like cool with everybody in high school, you know. Yeah. Like, always nice to everybody, you know. So then, like that's why I felt like a lot of people like gave me a, a positive feedback. Yeah. Because I was always cool with everybody. But yeah, like you just start like you just you just started. Yeah, you just do your thing. Like you don't really you don't gotta know nobody. You don't gotta do nothing. Like you just gotta like find your own ways, you know. Yeah. And so you are 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 they still a part of it or is it just still just you? No. Yeah. Um. Uh, Poncho, he got out like by himself. Me and uh, me and Beto had the disagreements, you know. Yeah. And then we came into like a deal where he's like, "Oh, we're gonna do this." He's like, "And then you could keep the company." Yeah. I'm like, "That's fine." And yeah. After that, I went my own way. I started doing it about, like by myself. Um, I lasted about like two months, a month, and then that's when I I went towards uh, I, right now it's Brandon and Isidro. That are with oh okay yeah. yeah I know we've seen you. I don't know if I know Brandon, but and when did you start first? You started doing promotions or being a manager? Like, oh, how I, did started, that start? I started being uh the promoter because yeah. once uh once they started like the like the guy started seeing that the company started growing. Yeah. I seen I spotted some kid um on Facebook. Yeah, he kept on putting videos of him singing, you know, and yeah. honestly he was a great singer, but nobody really paid attention to, uh, attention to him. Yeah, and then I started like noticing that. He was like asking me questions like, hey, like, what do I do? Like, and then yeah. I started like, I started thinking to myself, you know what? Like, why not manage this kid? Like, why yeah. not like get a group together for him? And like, from there on, like start going. And yeah, like we struggled because at, at first we started like, it was a year. We said, oh, we're going to do it. Yeah. And then like it didn't happen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? 
And then we tried again. And then I don't know where. Bro, these kids blew up, man. Because there's three of them, right? There's three of them. So you got that first guy. Did he know the other two guys? or He, he knew the... He, so it was basically like it was... There's the guitar, and then there's the other guitar, which is called the requinto, uh -huh. which he knew the other guy. And then the problem was his, his it was either to look for a tuba or go for a bass. Yeah. No, he didn't know nobody. He didn't know nobody. He was trying to look for somebody, and he couldn't find any tuba. So we started posting on Facebook, and then somebody tagged this this guy, and yeah, man, bro, it turns out, man, this guy's a dog. It sounds like it, man. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I heard you guys on, on iTunes and yeah, Spotify. Yeah, too, bro, yeah. yeah, everything came out on... on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, yeah, and bro, it's that's a struggle. That's a struggle. Like putting the the music out there, yeah, it's really hard. Bro. I bet, man. Like I've been trying to figure out how to put this shit on iTunes. It's still not on iTunes. I've been getting a bunch of bullshit. So. If you want, I can help you. Bro. Yeah, definitely yeah. that'll work, man. Cause man, the fucking annoys the fuck out of nah, me. Nah, I, I get you. I get you. It is. It's, it's really hard because we recorded the, um the actually the the album that just dropped. Yeah, we recorded that one and um. When was this? January. Oh, really? From last year. Yes. And it just dropped a month ago. Yeah. And, and it's just like... <clears throat> no, because it kept getting denied and denied. Because in order for it like, to publish, you need to know the authors of the songs. And yeah. then you got to know, like, who... Like, what group is it? Like, and stuff like that. Like, little stuff, you know? Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, it's actually pretty hard. Because sometimes, it's like, it's old songs. Yeah. That you look, you go through so back at certain time that you still can't find the name of the author, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I can help you out. With that. that that'd be great, man. Yeah. So for like all that, so how do you feel? Okay, because you do that full time now, right? That's your thing now. Yes, I actually, I had been at um, Buffalo Wild Wings working as a server for three years. I yeah. want to say three, four years, and I I actually just decided to quit and yeah. i quit what was it what was it like it's like seven months ago that yeah. i quit that i've been just doing this full time and bro i like i don't like i don't regret uh quitting v-dubs yeah. but like this in general just doing it full time is stressful like it really is i bet man yeah man. Man. sometimes like oh because like my my sleeping schedule is like messed up. Yeah. Because like the events are from nine to four nine to four a.m. and yeah. then I gotta stay there and then talk numbers and do all those stuff. Yeah. By the time I get home, it's seven a.m. Yeah. I see on my story, I'll be going to sleep and like all oh, this is out. And I wake up <laughs> and you're still fucking up. I'm like, Dude, I don't I don't know how you do that shit. Yeah, bro. I seven, imagine I go to sleep at seven a.m. and there's people already calling me like to get the aliados. Yeah. Uh, like. 11 12 yeah every time i go to like for example like yesterday i took a a mini nap like yeah. for an hour because i was gonna go, i was gonna go out and that hour i had a five missed calls yeah five missed calls so i was like like yeah you, like it's, it's really stressful like putting your like full time into it yeah but it's worth it though right i mean because yeah. that's you like no one can take that shit away from you i think that's what's beautiful about it though you know because if you work like B dubs, you have a schedule. You work for somebody. Yeah. You're making them money. <laughs> exactly. And your fucking your schedule could still be all fucked up. You know, you work doubles and shit. You know, to sell another and this. I mean, and the good thing from this is like, you're building your own company. Yeah. Because I didn't like, believe I didn't look at it like that. Yeah. Because I don't want to like, call this a company and then get made fun of. Yeah. But then as time went on, I'm like, this is really a company. Yeah, it really is. And once you like register like under your name and everything like. It's like actually like it's valuable, you know. Yeah. Because like nobody could do something up, up with your company. Yeah. If they don't ask you, you know. Yeah. So it's like you look at it and you think I'm like, damn, like it really is like valuable, and <coughs> a lot of people like would rather just be like, ah, you know what, I'm just gonna work and work and not yeah. like not do something else. But like I've always said it, like I'm out, like I. I always said it, bro. Like I'm not made to like to work for somebody else. Huh? To work for somebody else. Yeah. And you yeah. said you had it registered, so it's like legally, right? Yeah, it's legally yeah, yeah. yours. Yeah. How did that process get into? Like, how did you learn how to do that? That process of getting legally. It's that for that one, yeah, I did have to ask like other promoters. Yeah. Like, uh, like, because it's like, I had um, I had some, I asked a couple people, and they asked, I'm like, hey, I'm, a, I'm like, you have your company registered? Like, yeah. They're like, but I don't think you should. They're like. I did eight years without having it registered. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, I'm not trying to go that uh, way, you know? Like, yeah. I'm trying to have everything established. Like, and exactly. Yeah. And they started, like, telling me, like, where to go and who to go to when we make phone calls. Yeah. And I started, like, 
I made that official, and then once I made that official, like you take the weight off your back, you know, because you're yeah. like, like nobody can fuck you over now, you know. Yeah, and if they so, do it, they try to. You come back with that label shit, exactly. you get some money off of that. Yeah, that's cool. Contracts man. and everything, like that's why, <coughs> like when I was as well, like, um, I gotta take contracts like serious with them because like, you can't really, yeah, you can't really cancel people and then like, be like, oh, you know what, we're not going to the party. Bye. Yeah. Ah, like that's why there's a contract and everything. Like or like and you're still gonna get your money at the end exactly. of the Exactly. Yeah. Like sometimes there's people that just don't give a fuck, you know, like yeah. and they just be like they they sign they get you for a date and then once you're there, like, oh you know what? Like never mind it's cancelled. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? You know? Yeah. So I keep the deposit that yeah. they have gave me because I don't like I, for every like gig I get, like I get a, a deposit to yeah. make sure like the gig is fine, you know. Yeah. That's cool, man. And so you do a lot of like, so when you play, you do like a lot of parties, or you just do like clubs and stuff, or what do you? Or how does that go? Um, for, like with Alias, Alias, like, uh, Alias, 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 we do everything. Yeah. <coughs> My bad. You're good. Man. We've been um at clubs, we've been at backyards, we've been at ranches, we've been at everywhere, everywhere, like family parties. Yeah. Anything you can think of, we we've done it. Yeah, and as a co- as a company, because you have your company of twenty four k, right? And Correct. that's the promotions and everything. Correct. Are you planning to manage other bands too, or do you manage other bands or just Aliados? I just manage Aliados. I have a lot of uh, requests. And stuff. A lot of requests of people telling me like, "Hey, um, manage me, manage me, manage me." And I've always said it, bro. Like, I if I'm gonna manage somebody, it's gonna be somebody that's good. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna do it just because I feel like, oh, like it's just easy money. Yeah. Because it really is. Yeah. Cause you could just get them, charge a certain amount, get your part. Yeah. That's it, you know. But that's not the way I look at it. I'm like, if you want a good image about yourself, is like you gotta come out with good, good shit, with yeah. good work, you know. Yeah. So if you hit them with a with a group that's not good, people are gonna be like, like this they stop paying, they stop paying attention. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, like right now, like I said, like it's really like it's overwhelming, but it's it, it pays off, and as, at the moment, like I mean, also in my my number one focus and I don't know well, as of now you know yeah, I, yeah. like I'm open to to other other groups and things like that but as of now yeah I'm just with Alias yeah that's cool man and um so like like you said like this is all serious man like it, it's, it's cool to, to hear you talk like that because you can see in your, you can see in your face man yeah like this is it this is you're making something out of it now when you first started doing all this at, was there a point where you were like <coughs> fuck like it probably isn't a good idea or? oh yeah and I actually bro like uh, at first, it's like we started off, and then it was how was it? It was we started off at um, we, oh, well, the first event that we were supposed to have, yeah, it was uh, <laughs> it was trash. We were supposed to have um at this uh banquet. Uh-huh. Um, I had everything planned out. All the groups were gonna play. Honestly, like we didn't even we it was gonna be our first event and on face on Facebook it was like trending and like stuff like that like it was yeah. like getting hit likes shares and yeah. all that stuff, and then I had I already gotten a phone call from some groups and I they had told me like hey you gonna do an event at right there at Bellas and I'm like oh yeah mm-hmm. and they're like oh um like watch out you know because it's like that we got something funky going on. Uh-huh. Yeah, like that, like yeah, yeah, yeah. They just don't want us to like to do it to succeed in like and stuff, you know. Yeah. But when it came to like when it came to the day of the event, the the owner of the place calls us and I'm like, hey, you know what? Like the event's canceled. Like you guys can't do it. And I'm like, why? He's like, oh no, he's like, cause the town and the the town is asking for some papers and like paperwork about yeah. going events. And I'm like, well, like. You didn't ask us. You didn't tell us none of that, you know? That shit should have been handled if and it wasn't then. Exactly. And then, like, the event got canceled. People got mad. People are, like, people don't even do this, but they were already uh, paying in advance the tables. Oh, like, really? For, like, with the liquor and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, they had already paid in advance, you know? And like, we gave. As soon as, like, they told us, like, oh, we put it out there. And yeah. we just gave everybody their money back. But, and, like, the first, like, few events... Uh, it wasn't that good, you know. Yeah. Like money wise, like I would we wouldn't lose, but you wouldn't make money. Yeah. So it would be basically pretty like, much break even. Yeah. yeah. And um, well, how was it? Was uh, we did, we were like that for for a while, for like a couple months. Yeah. And then we tried this new spot, 
at Lobo, uh-huh. right there in Cicero, but also didn't work. Yeah. Uh, we were in, event, in a few events right there at Tequilas, yeah. where it used to be at Merlo's Park. Okay. We, would, we would make good money right there, but it was only like here and there type of thing. We weren't there like officially. Okay. And then in June, June we got called, uh, uh, no, 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 we had, I had a guy named called in March okay. by this, by this owner of this restaurant. And he's like, hey, you know what? Like, I had this promoter already. He's like, I would, I would want you to join him. Yeah. So like, um, you do this percentage, and then you guys go halves. Yeah. And then that's how it is. And I'm like, nah. Yeah. Like, I'm not worth that percentage. You know? Like, I know, yeah. I, I, you know, I, know you're worth. I know my, I know what I'm worth. You know? Yeah. And he's like, all right, all right. And uh, he, we, it stayed like that. You know, a, a month passed by, two months. He gives me a call. Hey, can we talk? But yeah, and then we talked, and he started. You know what? I was like, I'm I'm looking to get rid of this guy. So like, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get you guys because I see that people follow you guys. And then from that day on, bro, like, thank God we've been we've been making really good money. That's good, man. Putting in putting in work. We started off with doing just one day, just doing Fridays, and then from Fridays they went to Fridays and. Saturdays and from Fridays and Saturdays they went to Friday, Saturday, Mondays, yeah. and then now we do Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I think um, it's wild. Like that's that's what trips me out. Like when you guys are out Mondays, like how the fuck the fact that you get that many people out there on a Monday, bro? Like you know, bro, you think it's crazy because in Chicago you like it's like no other states like that. You know, yeah. only in Chicago like they there's a, there's places to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Every day of the week yeah. there's the place to go to. And like you be thinking about like that like and it's the same people. It's the same like the same people you see like you see on Saturday, you're gonna see them on Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, going out, you know? So it's like it's crazy. When it's crazy when you think about it like the same the amount of people yeah that are out there. It is crazy, yeah. <laughs> like I've I've been wanting to go to I told my girl too, I'm like, thank God I but that's just not my crowd. Like I don't I wouldn't fit, bro. You could tell I don't I don't go to those. Nah, it was it's not always about like fitting in like you just gotta train the stuff. You know? No, yeah. I mean, I don't really give a shit about what people think. It's just me, man. Like I, I, I dance every once in a while, but I don't dance enough. So I just be there standing around and shit. As much as I like to drink and shit, you know. So you know, I, I will go by one day, man. Sounds good. Talk about that. I'll wait for you right there. For sure, man. I actually, I actually got, I got you this right here. Oh shit! Is that a shirt? Yeah, it's uh, it's the new shirts that we just got. Twenty four k. Yeah, and then it has a logo in the back. Yeah. Open it up. You got these? I'm gonna show it to the camera. I don't know. Shit. If it fits, I got a large. Large. Cool man, it's fucking nice though man. Some badass shirt. Check this shit out. You selling these at what the event or you got a website or come on? How you getting these? Oh, well, right now we just play. We just got an order of a, a thousand, a thousand, a thousand shirts. Yeah. Um, we're planning to just like give them out to like the people that like usually like be there often, you know, like yeah. supporting. But like, if anybody like, I had like gotten um messages on instagram on the 24k page yeah i posted them and then they started telling me like oh like um are you selling them and i'm like yeah like yeah sure and they're like oh yeah how much i'm like oh 20 bucks yeah because i got because i would get these for 15 yeah. you know so i'm not i'm not really making money off of them i just yeah like i don't really i don't really mind you know i don't think i think that's a i don't think that's a bad idea either because when people are gonna buy this shit they're gonna be like what the fuck is 24k and then you just get your brand out there you yeah know? exactly and then yeah. like a lot of people like they like they make brands and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, like they make shirts. I'm sorry. Yeah. And then they try to make like a profit. Yeah. And like it's like the way I look at it is like first you want to get your name out there. Yeah. You know. So that's why like I don't really try tr- anything. You know, yeah. Like, for my merchandise or anything, I'd be like, oh, you know, like just give me what I pay for. Yeah. And then, like they they feel like. They feel like the sun, like the like if they're special, you know. Like, yeah. oh, like he's not charging me more. I'm yeah. Like, yeah. Like I was just, I'm just trying to get my name out there, you know. Yeah. And that's smart though. I mean, I feel sometimes you gotta like that's that's a bigger investment, you know. Yeah. Like as much as it'd be cool to make an extra few dollars off of that, the fact that you got other people wearing your shit, that's gonna become more money because then you got people wondering about you and talking about you and coming to see you. Yeah. That's more money you're gonna make off of that. And then um like you just been, you just like cause I like what was I I gave um. Like we had some uh, some groups ask us like, oh hey, like, like how much are the shirts? And I'm like, nah, I'm like, yeah. here you go, you know, because like, like let's say we give like a, a sh- like a band the shirts, yeah, they'll go to another nightclub and then 
they'll pop up, they'll have it yeah. on, you know, and a lot of people are going to see them wear it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's, so that's why I think it's good. Like, sometimes it's, like, the way I look at it is, like, sometimes you got to, like, invest and give away yeah. in order to give back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think from like certain things you said, like when that that guy from the restaurant first called you, right? And you said no the first time, then he called you back and like stuff like this. I feel like you thinking, like I feel like you're smart with this shit. Not saying that I didn't think you weren't smart before, yeah. yeah. But I could just tell that like you think five steps ahead, ten yeah. steps ahead, you know. And that's cool because I feel like a lot of people when they start doing something, like when they start a business, they want to be like successful in the first five days, exactly. you know. Exactly. And I feel like people burn out like that because. <coughs> People, people that know how shit works, you know that this shit's a process. Like you said, you had that that song out. You had that song for like the album for like a year, and it took you that long. It took me that long. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not like an insult, but that's just saying like acknowledging the fact that how invested you are into this, that you're willing to wait this much to let it go off. It actually, I feel like like going back to the album, it was I tried um a good I was it like a good five tries, six yeah. tries, and I kept and I kept and I kept getting denied, and yeah. I just I didn't know why, you know. Yeah. And so like. I started asking around, and I, I went to the studio with some guy. Yeah. I, I told him like, hey, like how much, like how much are you gonna charge? Like how much would you charge me to tell me like post it? Like, yeah. I'll go talk about that after. And then we started like fixing things, and the next thing you know, like we were able to upload it. Yeah. And I'm like, I told him like, hey, like how much do I owe you? Like, oh nothing. Oh really? And I'm like, oh like, like I appreciate it, you know? And yeah. Like, he's like, no, 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 I'm like, bro, like you don't know me, nothing. Like, oh, thank you. That's raw, man. That's yeah. love right there, you know. Sometimes you just like it's just like sometimes like the people feel your vibe, you know? Yeah. Like if you feel like they have a good vibe with you, like yeah. you're a good person, like you know, they'll do stuff like just just for the willing of doing it, you know, yeah. just to help you out. Yeah, like you're man, like, these people are cool at recording. I've recorded here like pretty much all my episodes. And the first day I showed up, I asked them like, how much you guys charge and all that shit. And they asked me, they're like, Are you doing this by yourself? And they're like, Yeah. So they hook it up with like a decent price for recording. Like I'm here for four hours today. And then all the equipment that you, I, I'm using right now, it's just expensive, man. They let me yeah, use that I shit. Bet. They you let me, they, they give me a price, and I'm like, that, dude, that's mad low. Because they, they know, like, you know, you're trying to do this shit yourself. Like, I, like I, on my podcast, on my website, you know, I'm trying to, like, promote other people. Yeah. Like, everybody's doing their own shit. So, like, I'm willing to post about people. I'm willing to post their shit on my website. I don't want anything in return. Like, I, Vinny, Vinny and his friend were talking about uh, posting some shoes. Yeah. I, dude, I'm still trying to figure out my website. For us, I, I'm trying to open up the store. So that whoever <coughs> wants to like post some shit on the website, you're more than welcome to. As long as you handle shipping and handling all that bullshit, go ahead, man. Just be- I mean, I when I like when you started when you asked me like, oh, about coming into the show yeah. and stuff like that. I like I when you send me the link of, of it, I'm like, damn, like it sounds dope. Like you don't even know you don't like I don't even know like who the girl was. Yeah, and I was listening to like her whole story. And yeah, everything is like, damn, like I and I went out to the. I went out to Vinny and then I started listening to Vinny. Yeah, you know that's it's crazy. It's it's dope, you know, because I like I told you like I don't even know who they were and I was into yeah. like the yeah. story, you know. That's what I'm trying to get out of it, you know. I want to try to get like like I hope this helps you out, you know. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not gonna help you that much because you got way more attention than I do. But it opens up new doors for new people to listen to, you know. Yeah. Like you said, you don't know who they were. I got people that I don't know who you are. They're gonna listen to your band, listen to your promotions, you know. Yeah. Just no, trying to spread love and everything. It's, it's, it's all about a, like a, gro- a growing process. You yeah. Know? Like. Is like like right now, like you're already starting, but you never know. It's automatically you just. That's what I'm up. trying to man. Like I've been working on this shit forever already. It's been taking a long time, and it's finally coming to fruition. But like you know, fuck it, man. That's what we gotta do. Hey, it's it's a process, you know. Yeah. Like I said, like not you don't you don't make money from one day to another. You know? Yeah. Like it's a, it's a process that like basically you're building like the way I look at it, you're building your own company as well. Yeah. And then that's dope. That's dope, bro. That's what I'm hoping yeah. for, man. Like I don't know if you listen to other podcasts. You know who Joe Rogan is? Uh, comedian no, and shit. He's a comedian. He does like he used to like when he used to the MMA fights. That's the guy who's talking this shit. And he has oh, like, like I'm the ball like, dude. I'm the sh- yeah, but like they like oh okay, okay, okay. yeah like yeah. the guy that's but the talk on the UFC. Yeah, like, yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah, and he has the other podcast on the studio, bro. I would love to have my own studio. The bullshit I want to do, like that's the and that's what I want, you know. Yeah, okay. that's, those are the goals, right? Yeah, that's the goal. Nah, that's man. dope. That's dope. But yeah, like I like I've never really like podcasts. Like I've never seen any shows. But now, now, now that you mention it, it's like the ones that just sit like at a studio and they're just sitting like in a the, circle and they're just talking and stuff like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Like that, dude. I talk a lot. I love to talk. And this is perfect, <laughs> man. Especially if I could eventually someday make some money off this shit. Yeah. Fuck, because I hate working. Like you said, I hate working for people, man. That shit just blows. Yeah. 
and building your own company is the best the best way to go you know yeah i think a lot of people i think people a lot of people are scared to do their own thing you know they're so used to having a schedule and just doing what people say i feel like they just uh like they just they don't feel like they just they don't find a way well, how do you say it like that like they don't believe in themselves nah like, exactly yeah, exactly yeah. Like, you don't believe in themselves and, not, and for me honestly like I, my, I have I, my mom my mom has always been like hey do 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 you like like anything you you think of doing like it's just gonna be positive always think positive in life yeah no matter if like if it's looking bad it's looking like shit you yeah. know it's like think positive think positive and like and i was just telling her because um i just had for my first time we just brought a a famous group yeah from california okay on uh, it was last friday and saturday yeah that's all i'm bad like it's not looking as good as i thought it would look you know yeah and so like just think positive just think positive yeah and then the event happened and like on Friday, boom, it was full, you know. Yeah. Uh, the group was, the group was happy. They were playing like they didn't like because they're they're famous like in California. Yeah. And like they're famous in like every other state, but not like famous famous, you know. Yeah, yeah. So like when they came to Chicago, like that was it was the first time here. Like they seen the, like everybody like they seen the place full and then they seen like the phones up like yeah. recording that. And they looked at us like, damn, like people yes. really like people do really like follow us, you know? Like yeah. y'all brought it, y'all brought the people out here for us, you know? Yeah. And then like that, I'm always thinking about it. Like at the end of the night, at the, when I get paid, I'm always th- I always think like, like thank my mom, thank God, you know? Like yeah. it's always about being thankful. So and, your, and your mom, she's been real supportive since the beginning, or since the beginning. My mom's yeah. been supportive. Anything I do. Yeah. Anything I do, my That's mom. Is, you know, don't be mad. Cause there's a lot of people like a lot of parents they'll be like nah like don't don't put all your eggs in one basket you know yeah because they don't want you to fail but your mom just sounds like balls to the wall like whatever you do exactly. pass or fail she's got your back yeah that's wrong man yeah. <coughs> and like she even uh she even goes uh she went out to my to my event for the first time this friday and saturday this friday it was oh it's saturday oh okay she was like for the first time it's not like it's not really her crowd because yeah, yeah. like she knows that it's not her crowd you know? yeah because like we're more like of a mid-20s yeah like type thing and uh, she's like oh i'm old now because my mom like oh she's not really old she's almost 39 40. that's young man yeah oh, yeah so my mom like uh, but like she'd be like sharing and stuff on facebook she'd be telling everybody to go yeah and like that like the way i look at her i'm like damn that's dope you know that is like i know there's people out there that are like do so many things and yeah like the, the, the parents they don't, like, don't support they don't, anybody yeah, they don't yeah. Out, you know yeah like, it sounds like you had a lot of support you had like a lot of people talking shit though <coughs> oh yeah bro and how'd you get over that like do you just not give a fuck about what people think or does nah, it get to you sometimes and never gets to me no nah. yeah it's it's like it's something that comes with it you know yeah it's like you gotta you gotta be able to control it yeah. you gotta be able to work through it yeah and the way the way to like like basically shut them up is putting them work and doing what they don't want you to do. Yeah, you know. And then when you succeed, it just takes exactly. it better, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just like for, like in Chicago, it's, the promoting business is different, bro. It's yeah. hard because uh, yeah, you can move it as much as you want, man. You can move the shit back and forth. I'm yeah. trying. It's it's yeah. stressful, man. Especially with with like. Having like missing family parties, like um, missing uh, time at home because yeah. you'd be out so much. Like girlfriend, yeah. my girlfriend, I've been having a lot of trouble with it. But she's uh, she's been supportive with it too, though, right? Was yeah, she's yeah. been she's actually been the supportive. And well, at first, like she didn't. At first, she didn't mind, you know. Yeah. Because like I said, like at first, it wasn't. We weren't uh, really. We weren't really as busy and as, as pop- busy yeah. as it's popping exactly yeah. like that, and then uh, and then like she wouldn't mind because she would be like, "Yeah, it's fine." But after a while, like like I said, we started getting this loose spot. We started doing more dates, more. Yeah. And then that's when I had like I signed Aliados, and then they, like if I wasn't at my event, I was uh with Aliados at the gigs. Yeah. But I don't really have time for her, and then she started like telling me, "Hey, hey what's going on?" You know. Yeah. But like slowly, slowly I should be, should be telling me like, hey, that's fine, you know. Yeah. Like it's it's worth it, you know. It's worth it, yeah. I mean, 
I'm sure she gets a little fair share of uh, stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, man. And uh, so, what you got coming up? What you got planned? Like, what's what's next for? Um, right now, we'll like for for 24K, we have a uh, our two year anniversary. Mm -hmm. That's into but that's into like March. Aliados, um we just took like I said we like I don't know how it's we just took out the the new um, the CD that yeah. I told you that I were um, that we had wrote yeah. and uh, we're actually scheduled to go on the studio in the studio next I want to say next Thursday yeah what's next Thursday you know next day no clue man just you know. the twelfth yeah oh no we're supposed to be in the studio the nineteenth. Mm. and record the the following uh album yeah. you know and then like it's uh so like so we'll record the new album and then like put it out there as soon as possible you know because yeah. now i know how to do it so now it's gonna be twice as now, it, now it's gonna be like well it's it, like we record and it's gonna be out like in uh two or three weeks really that fast yeah That's it cool, takes man. for it to get approved it takes a month uh, three three four weeks to yeah. get approved by like apple music and spotify you know, yeah and stuff like that and like what like I like what I'm what I like about like Spotify is like it gives you like like it gives you like um like it tells you how many listeners like like right here. Yeah yeah. Yeah, like uh That's only yeah, two thousand nine hundred streams, that's decent. Yeah, and it has like people, six people are listening to them right now. Oh it tells you like real time how many people listen to that as well. Like in the last seven days we got a hundred and four new followers. Yeah. And stuff like that, you know, like this like the songs the songs right here the new ones tells you which are the most popular songs yeah here. it tells you like this one has been played three thousand times oh shit yeah like that's wrong yeah and it tells you like where the it tells you like where it has like where the where your followers are from you know like what do you mean like the area like chicago and like the different yeah, like, oh really like right here you like <sighs> top cities in like chicago since raw oh, oh okay. damn cool man really what's cool. the farthest place on there uh Last time I was looking at it, and it's Germany, Chile. That's not Chile. It's okay. Italia, Canada, Germany, Spain, Argentina, France. I think Germany's fucking wild, man. Damn, that's <laughs> that, I, that's my first time looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. It's like it's crazy, you know, like, and then like you'll be looking at it, and it goes like it plays in all fifty states. Yeah, that's wild, man. That's some good progress right there. Yeah, bro, and then like it's. It's crazy, you know, because like I, the way I look at it is like it's only the beginning. Yeah, it really is. Two years is it, it's it's a long time, but it's not that long in the grand scheme of things, you know. Exactly. Yeah. There's there's people that have been doing it for I say one I want to say like for like fifteen years promoting like yeah. And I'd be looking at it like I'm like because I know like because there's there's guys that tell me like oh like like you really are a threat, you know? Yeah. Because like. You be you be you do so many days and it works out for you and like other places would do like more than one day and it won't be good like yeah. it'll be one it'll be good one day and then the other day will be like slow it'll fall off and shit. yeah but like thank God everything's right there has been like we do like I told you we do four five days out of the week yeah and like I want to say like mostly you know it's not always good yeah but like most of the time all of them are good and I'm like that's why I'd be that's right that's, that's a blessing be, man that's why I'd be thankful yeah. Yeah, that's wild especially because it just sounds it sounds like it's a lot easier said than done but the way that you're doing it it sounds like it's just coming along smoothly yeah like and it's all, all working out it's uh it's it's time consuming but it's like at the end of the day like i said like you're your own boss yeah, yeah. and then like you're building your own company you know at the end of the day like let's say i'm like i hope you know yeah. like one day i like make a living like a really uh, like a real living like yeah. where i have my own house and stuff like that after yeah. this yeah. you know because it's like this is good money yeah and, like open it like didn't you just get a new truck like not so long <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's when I, I saw that shit i was like this motherfucker man yeah um thank god yeah because and actually it was crazy you know because i didn't get my truck when i started the the new spot uh -huh. i didn't i got it like um I want to say like two weeks. Okay. So like I, like I, like I really think I really do feel like I'm blessed, you know, because it's like, yeah. it's like my truck broke down or whatever, and then I went and I got a new truck, and then I that's when I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. 
you know, and then I got the new truck, and then I went in there. I went in there looking for like a 2014. Yeah. They gave me, like, hey, try to get that one. That's it. 2018. Like, I'm like, nah, like, I'm not going to get yeah, it. Yeah. I'm young. I'm not going to. Because I'm really 21. Yeah. I'm like, so I'm not, I'm not going to get it, you know. Yeah. Like, and I like, tried, tried, and I, and I actually did try, and then uh, I got it. But then, like, once I got, once I got it, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep in the nights because I was like, how am I going to pay this truck? Yeah, yeah. I just put myself in my back, like, thousands of dollars, you know? Yeah. It's like, like, how is somebody that's, in, that's 21 going to pay so much money? Yeah. And, and then I couldn't sleep. I would be with my girlfriend in the bed. Yeah. She would be sleeping and I, I'd just be wide awake. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, what, man. Like, what did I just do, you know? Yeah. But, like, like I said, I think, I feel like I am blessed in my life. I thank God and I, like I, th- I thank everything, everything, you know. Yeah. And as like, I was make like I was working, I was working and working and working and working, and that that day that the uh, uh, his name is Juan. Yeah. The day he he called me from the the owner from the restaurant. Yeah. I had just gotten out of work from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. He's like, oh, is this Saint Louis? I'm like, oh yeah. And then uh, we went over there, we talked, and then we started doing the events. Yeah. So once we started doing events, like it helped me out a lot, yeah. you know, because we started making really good money. Yeah. So I wouldn't have, I wasn't as uh, worried as about making payments. Yeah. You know? So uh, like I feel like I was like, damn, like the God really blessed me, you know, because yeah. like he seen that I was like, I was like going crazy, like thinking like, oh, how am I gonna pay him? And then if this guy shows up and saves my life, you know. Yeah. So like, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for him. I'm really, really thankful for him. Yeah. yeah. Right there, if you guys want to check out the, the his. This place it's a it's actually a restaurant, a seafood restaurant. Yeah, shout out the place, dude. If anything, yeah. we'll put up, we'll put up my socials too, put on the website. Yeah, it's called uh, La Diva Hacienda right there, and it's on Pulaski. And uh, I think I found that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a <coughs> yeah, it's a seafood place. It's actually try to make it because that's where we do the events, you know. Yeah. And like in the at the during the during throughout the day. the day, it's a restaurant, and yeah. in the night, it turns into like a nightclub. Oh, okay. So like. I'd be telling him like I, I like I help him out like uh, promote his, his place yeah and uh, and I'd be telling him like uh like you know like you help me so I'm gonna help out you, you know? yeah so like like right now I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to make him uh, expand the, expand the place you should man to make to make more money you know yeah that's the way to make open new restaurants or make the place bigger no make that place make bigger, bigger. We're, he's already looking at a uh, at a, another restaurant, we're actually gonna meet up this Saturday. Yeah. To look at like at other spots, you know. He did a. We I'm right now. I'm doing. I'm because right now he has a warehouse. Okay. And then uh, he's uh he's actually fixing it up, cause I'm actually gonna. I wanna make. I wanna have like an office. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So like I wanna go and say like, I wanna go and like talk to the guys and be like, hey, you know what like. We got to come this time. Yeah. Like we got to come and work in the mornings. Yeah. And actually treat it like it's a real job. Yeah. Because it's paying us like if it's a real job. Yeah. You know? So, like, I want to have, like, a, my, the office. I want, I'm, man. You got yeah, a whole bunch of things. I got yeah. a whole bunch of things. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to have, like, a studio like this and, like, just have, like, groups record or, like, yeah. practice. Like, have a camera guy and stuff. Like, I want to make, like, a real company, like, yeah. grow, like, grow big, you know? Yeah. Eventually, that's what I hope to do, man. I mean, I want to have, like, like you said, like, an office, you know? Yeah. Because most of the time, I'm editing this shit in my fucking room, bro. Like, you know, trying to exactly. make sure you know, all that stuff. And then once you're home, like, it's like, you're, you're home and then you get, like, distracted by little yeah. stuff, you know? So that's why. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's why, like, when I be, like, when I be contacting groups, I be, like, calling and calling and calling and then... Makes you know, like I see something on Facebook and boom. Yeah. Like my mind goes away, you know, and I start doing other stuff. Yeah. That's why, like, I like today I, I got another interview after you. Yeah. But I got extra hour, like an extra hour recording because I don't know how to do. Like I'm still learning this shit, you know. <coughs> and this being here, well, like I can't be distracted, you know. I gotta be like I'm here. I gotta learn this shit. Like I pretty much. Like, these buttons on this thing, I know what the fuck they mean now, bro. Like, I understand this shit. Yeah. The first time I recorded, like, the, my last interview, I recorded, like, the first 10 minutes, like, nothing. And okay. now, like, I got here, I sat down within five minutes. That's oh, why yeah, I, everything fixed I up. Got several, yeah, because I told you to get here, like, at 1230, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I knew I was going to drag ass to fix it. And I got it done within, like, five minutes. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I was real impressed. Damn, that's dope. That's dope, baby. 
that's that's the way like same with me and same the same way I was with the when with the sound yeah like when I bought the Aliel's or their like sound system yeah it's like sometimes they're like they were running late so yeah. in order for me to do it like I had to just, like be there and like take out the console like oh do this and this and this and this yeah. put like the guitar the the voice and stuff like that like slowly like just by moving things around you yeah. learn you know yeah. and it's like that's dope because like sometimes like people go to school and people will spend so much money and stuff like that yeah and then so you just sometimes then, the best way is learning just doing it you know exactly like somebody like somebody could have gone to business school right like did you go to school for this shit no, no right you just did it and you're fucking being pretty successful off of it you know yeah so we're not saying everybody can do it you know it takes i'm not like i'm not trying to say like anybody can do your job like yeah. it takes hard work it takes effort it takes like the nigga i know that everything to do no, this it shit. takes a lot of a lot of time yeah it's, it's stressful you know because you're like you think about it you're like oh i could be doing this instead of doing this yeah and like sometimes people like take the wrong decision and be like you know what like i could do this another day yeah and like it's like nah like yeah you gotta do this now you know yeah. in order for it to work one day you could take the wrong like the wrong path and like go that way and like oh like you didn't go to that to that place because like when i met like when i met the owner of the of the um, restaurant yeah. i went to one of his events yeah so like that's where he knew who i was yeah because i went to one of his events yeah let's say i never i would have never got to one of those i, I would have never got to that event yeah I would have never met the guy. Yeah, it probably fell out. You know, I would have. I would have probably like never kept on going. Yeah, but thank God I, I went and I met the guy. Yeah, but I'm stuck on this how that dude asked you to be part of the other guy's team. Like, what if doing that, you guys would have had a disagreement, shit would have fell off, and then you know you lose motivation for this shit, or you know who knows what happens. Well, the thing was like he wanted me to, to uh, he wanted me to to join him with my company. Yeah, but like divide the percentage between him and us yeah and then I, and I mentioned it to him and i told him like it's not a it's not a me thing you know yeah it's a i have got i have my guys yeah that are that are like my that are working with me you know yeah. so it's like it's not just me make it's not just me putting in the work you know it's my guys too yeah he's like oh no he's like forget you guys you know? nah nah <laughs> i'm like nah yeah and then that's when uh he got rid of the other guy and he like he came towards me, you know. We made, we came to an agreement. Yeah. yeah. And how do you guys feel about this? Like, where where were like the people, the guys you manage, right? What are their names? Um, is a singer with like Jonathan, uh -huh. Quellas, and then Cruz, and then Marco. Yeah. How do they feel about this? There, because what were they doing before? Like you said, you found that guy online just right by himself, and then you brought them all together, no? Yeah, I I actually, I, I found the uh, cause cause um I want to see videos of him on uh on youtube i'm uh, on facebook yeah and i started realizing like hey like this guy has a voice you know like, yeah. his, like his voice is crazy you know yeah and like he started like i started like liking his stuff and he knew who i was mm -hmm. so like once i started liking his stuff like he started getting excited you know yeah and um he started like asking me questions like hey like what do you think i should do like what should i do and then like who do i ask or like yeah stuff like stuff like little stuff you know and then like i started like responding to him and then, like he was a kid you know he didn't have a right to know like yeah. no places no nothing and then i picked him up one day he's like hey he's like um, i got this guy that wants to try out to be together in the band i'm like let's go yeah and we tried out we went with the guy he, it was with the guy we have now yeah he didn't really, like we like we were um we were doing the whole thing of like trying out the the group yeah and the guy was like oh yeah and then like but like the week uh, after like a week later he's like oh you know what never mind i'm doing my own thing yeah all right cool that's fine and then he called uh jonathan yeah he called him uh, like a week later uh, like uh two months later he's like you know what like yeah let's try it and yeah then, and from there on like that's where we tried it again and that's when yeah, he that's started like rolling. he started started rolling yeah so they that's their full time gig now, right? Did they leave their job? So they still work other. Places? Um, uh, Jonathan doesn't work. Cruz doesn't work, but Marco does. Marco works at a G, uh, UPS. Oh, okay. Which I feel like he don't need it. Yeah. He like, I feel like, cause sometimes like at the when we have like like for example, what's today? Today's what Thursday. Yeah. On Tuesday we had a, we, they called me for a gig. Uh, 
I want to say 11, mm -hmm. 11 p.m. Yeah. And they called me and like, hey, are you guys available? And I'm like, yeah. And um, they, like they got us for, I believe, three hours. Mm -hmm. So they played from 11 to, to, or two, 11 to two. Yeah. They played three hours. And Marco didn't go. Yeah. Because he had to work in the morning at UPS. Oh. And I've been thinking, I'm like, like the like the money that you could be making with the group, yeah, and like a couple hours is like what's your paycheck worth from the whole week, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think you just want to take a break. And yeah, it's a lot, man. They show the plane all the time. It is plane, and then it's crazy because they don't even take they don't even take like a week off or nothing. Like I be telling them, like, yeah, they like, like they want like Thanksgiving they work, Christmas they're working. Like they, and I and I be telling them like, hey, you guys want to work? Like, yeah. bro, I'm like, yeah. And like, yeah. The only thing that I, I guess like helps them out a lot, or, like, is like um, he be they be uh charging extra. Mm -hmm. So see right now, I just got a message. Yeah. Uh, December twenty eighth. Can you do ten to eleven? Yeah. yeah. So like stuff like that. But like um, they be charging extra, so they. they they take uh, extra money home yeah. on uh, holidays. holidays. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna end, we're gonna wrap this up real quick. But uh, any dates you got coming up? Um, I'm gonna try to post this up as soon as as Monday. So well, we, maybe like, next week or two weeks. Like I said, we're recording uh, the nineteenth. The nineteenth. Yeah. We're recording the nineteenth. So we should have our new album out by around the late Januarys. Yeah. Um, our the two year anniversary for twenty four K. Yeah. It's on uh March around the March thirtieth yeah. date. So hope you guys can come out there and support, sure, you know. Yeah, and uh you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, all that shit. Yeah, Facebook, yeah. Everything like YouTube. simple. Twenty four K twenty four K promotions and uh, the other check out. For sure, man. So everything everything you we talked about, if anything you know promote, it's gonna be on my website, it's gonna be on my page, I'm gonna put it on Instagram, Twitter. I don't have a lot of Twitter or Instagram followers, but you know, just have it on there. In case anybody clicks on it, you know, go straight to you. Sounds good. Yeah. So go ahead and thank you for stopping by. Go ahead and check out my boy Asus and check out 24K Promotions. They out of Chicago. Do all that shit, man. Thanks, guys, for stopping by.